Uh, my name is Pete Lachance. I'm the principal here at JStream Middle School. We are working with the State of Illinois Artists in Residency Program, our school, our community, uh, and the teachers here at, at JStream to develop what is our third artist in residency project in the last seven years. Uh, my name is Al Simone, the assistant principal here at JStream. Um, I work with our sixth grade bunch of students. Past couple of weeks I've noticed the students all outside and participating and getting real excited about the art project and every year that we have this, this is our, our third one as a building. Um, it's just neat to see the kids all get real excited about it and get some sort of hands-on experience with, with, with each of the art projects that have been put up in our building. And uh, you know the whole competition that uh, Mrs. Krusenowski had beforehand was neat and it was all posted on the wall for a large amount of time and um, yeah I think this one actually is probably our most child friendly um, <clears throat> excuse me, project that we've had, the most hands on for the kids. The PTA comes to us and says let's make something larger than life. Let's make something that the kids can come back to and say oh, I did that, I have ownership in that. And so the kids will come to me and they'll say, you know, what are we going to do this year? When is our turn going to be when we make that, that large project? Because they have a great time making the projects in the classroom. They love doing it. But when, they, when, it, when it becomes larger than life, when it becomes a mural on a wall or a mosaic on a wall, the kids just have so much more ownership to it. Then it becomes their school when their projects are on the walls. We do the projects once every three years. And the reason that we do them once every three years is we want to give everybody an opportunity to work on one of these projects. In fact, this year, our PTA really worked hard to make sure that everything was in line for this group because the eighth graders, if they had graduated and we hadn't completed one, wouldn't have had a project. And that was something that our community said, no, we want everyone to be able to work with this. And, and we want that group to have an opportunity to come back and say, I worked on that project. Um, so we, we really try to make sure that you know, for the last several years, all of the students have, have something to come back and say, that was our class, or I did that. I'm Janine Gillespie. I'm a PTA co-president here at J Street Middle School. Um, this whole art project started early this year, early in the school year, when one of our um, past presidents reminded us she thought the art project was next year. So I got a hold of Ms. Krusnowski, our art teacher, over the summer. Um, emailed her to ask her you know how much we should save up for next year and she said no it's this year so all of us on the PTA that had been here in the past and had children involved in the past realized how important it is for everybody to be involved we did what we had to do to raise money so that Donna wouldn't have to wait till next year because then our eighth graders this year wouldn't have had a chance to be involved and that's what PTA does it's all about the kids <laughs> Now, Rebecca is going to put her foot right in the center. So 
Okay. Try and get your ankle centered there. Okay. Now, you guys, we are going to hold this rope tight and hopefully not give Rebecca ankle burn. What we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to have people line up at each tape mark. The end of the rope person Wait, cannot be a tape person, I have a too. Camera. Okay, so if you're a camera person, you probably want to take pictures or pass the camera off. Um, and don't get too comfortable because as soon as everybody gets a little marked down, we're going to start going in a circle. Okay, so you need to keep it as tight as it is. You can't let it go. Oh, you got to keep it right at that same tightness. Okay? This is a very important job, Bobby. Are you, are you up for the task? Yeah. You can do it. Rise to the challenge. All right. And people should have brand new tape or thick tape because you guys are going actually the farthest distance. That's fabulous. You come on over here. What's your name? Gia. We're going to have partners here. Gia, who's your partner? Okay, you're going to rip tape for Gia. What's your name? Rachel. Rachel's going to rip tape for Gia. Gia's going to lay that tape down in line with this. So it ends and starts there. Okay? So you're going to, and it doesn't even need to be that big. It can actually be, let's have it about an inch, you guys. And that'll be perfect. They do this, something like this, make an art project every three years, so everyone that goes to the school gets a chance to do it, and everyone in the school gets a chance to work on the project, so I thought that was really cool. I think this experience is really nice for us because it's nice to be part of something this big that the whole school could participate in. I think it's really cool, and it's really fun because you don't do this every day, and not all schools have this, so I think we're lucky to have do this. In fact, the first project that we did was a sculpture, and every student took part in it, and we had a big unveiling. Well, the unveiling turned into an arts, a fine arts night where we had local bands come in, um, we had local artists come in, and from there, um, it, it, it grew into the Carroll Stream Art Coalition. So from that one project came a community, a community um, association that really has worked for the last several years on developing the fine arts in the community. And the PTA has always been very supportive of us. Um, you know, this, is, this was their idea actually several years ago to begin, um, to do it every three years so that every class that goes through here at some time during their sixth, seventh, or eighth grade year would have a chance to work on this. I, mean, I think we've started a nice tradition now. Then three years after that we did uh, a mosaic, which you can see in the mosaic they were the tiny pieces of glass and, and the, the sculptures that we have, or the, the pictures that we have for those, can ha be hung in different areas. So it wasn't just one area of the building. This one could, it was the same project, but it's, it's spread out across the building. So um, this one we wanted to look for a little bit different feel, and that's where we got the idea for, for a project outside that the community was going to be able to enjoy even when we're not in session. <laughs> This year I was lucky enough to acquire Kelly Quinn and she is a mural artist as well as a uh, mosaic artist but what I was intrigued by is her labyrinth and uh, mandalas. She came to school for a presentation and the entire school was able to understand her her idea of why we're going to create this ma mandala and how we were going to create the mandala. Then explain to the kids that we are going to combine a mandala and a labyrinth together and to create a fantastic mural, then this not only would be something that all the kids can experience, but what the community can also come and experience too. You know, all the kids are talking about this project and, and they're, they're so excited about it, they're going home and their parents are coming to see what's going on. So it was a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to engage the parents also in something that, that, that was going on at the school.